Now, in today's video, we're going to take a look at my top 10 screenwriting software for 2024. Now, always, whatever software is the best for you is the one that you will use the most. Uh, now, there'll be links in the description for all the uh, websites where you can get and look at these uh, screenwriting softwares. I also will include any videos that I have made around that particular software. So, let's get into it. Number 10 is Final Draft. Now, some of you may be shocked by how low it is on the list. And to be honest, this OG in the space has left me down this year. Just recently, they came out with a new $100 upgrade whose main claim to fame was being able to include, wait for it, wait for it, emojis into your script. Woohoo! Yeah, innovation has never been Final Draft's strong suit. They also didn't fix the bugs they needed to fix for the PC yet. If you can get by some of these negatives, Final Draft does come with a lot of pre-work tools like a beat board and an outliner. Now, it does have a mobile version, which you can buy separately, actually, which is now a subscription-based model. Uh, it's basically just a word editor. Uh, I haven't looked at it too much recently, but it does connect with your desktop with your mobile device. Now, Final Draft is in a quote-unquote expensive software at $200, but is loaded with features. Just don't expect a lot of uh, out of it, but it will definitely help you get the work done. Number nine is Kit Scenarist, our first free software on the list. It has a lot of features, especially for being completely free. The only price comes with you buying online storage space, but you don't need that to run the program. Now, I have a bunch of videos up on how to use it as well. So if you think about trying screenwriting and just want to see what features you like, or if you would ever like to buy a screenwriting software subscription or a program, this would be a great entry point. The only downer about Kitsneris is the designers are no longer working on it because they are working on a new screenwriting software called Studio Architect. Number eight is Scrivener. Now, Scrivener is a fairly cheap software. It's about $60 at the time of this video. If you ever wondered where Final Draft got their beat board inspiration, it was from Scrivener. Now, if you like to do research and have multiple folders, which can include pictures when you work on a screenplay or a book, this is definitely the software for you. And like I just alluded to, is Scrivener is not just a screenwriting software, but also one which you can use to write a book. It's a little hard to get used to, but once you do, once you get going, it works like a dream. Number seven is Celtic. Now, this is the first subscription model for screenwriting on my particular list this year. Now, it's more of a production software than a screenwriting software, but when I demoed it, I really liked how user-friendly it was. And I know there's a fairly big community about who really enjoy it and swear by it. So, if you're thinking of getting more into uh, just not just screenwriting, but also production as well, too. This might be a screenwriting software you might want to take a look into. Number six is Scrite. Now, I know many people haven't heard of Scrite before, but it's one you shouldn't really sleep on. Now, at the time of this video, it is still free. So give it a look-see, and it's available on PC as well as Mac, and I think is on Linux as well, too. They do have a unique approach for writing your screenplay and that everything is done sort of at the scene level, as opposed to a word processor where you can start sort of anywhere in the text. It's very much scene focused. Um, and it does take a little to get used to, but it's a very powerful program. Now, one of my favorite features is the visual map relationship piece. It's one I hope more screenwriting softwares use. It has been really phenomenal in helping me with looking at relationships in my screenplays. Number five is Writer Duet. I always think of this software as the software that got collaboration right. And I think it also caused Final Draft to finally get its rear end gear about joining the bandwagon about doing collaboration. You see sort of a trend with Final Draft. Now, the nice thing about Writer's Duet is that you can write anywhere and on any device because it's on the cloud. Now, again, if you're working in a writing team, the software would be one of the best to use while collaborating. It just has a very seamless interface. It works well. And it's really designed, again, for writing teams. Number four is Story Architect. The next two softwares on my list are newer programs that you might not have heard about before, similar to Scrite. And I wanted to include them because they are doing some really new and interesting things. Remember, I told you the creators of Kit Scenarios were working on a new program. And wow, they're doing an awesome job. They have AI integrated well into the program as a writing partner, wonderful tools to help you flesh out your characters, and a wonderful interface. Give this one a try. If you like Kitsneris, uh, then I think you'll probably love this one as well, too. Number three is SoCreate, another new program. Now, many of you may be wondering why I included this one so high on my list this year. 
Well, I got to see some of the parts of the program that are beginning, they're beginning to work on, and it just took my breath away. Now, mark my words, they're creating a game changer. And I think in the coming months, the software is really going to take off. I think you're going to hear a lot more about it in the industry. So make sure to take a look at it right now. It does take a little while to get used to, to the interface, but I think it'll be worth it, especially in the future, especially like all these future plans I've solved for it. It looks really neat. And like I said, I think it might, uh, it's going to take a big market share from Final Draft. Now, I know I'm going to be using this a lot more in the future, especially this year, as I get ready for all these cool future updates. Number two is Arc Studio Pro. They've gotten really active in the screenwriting space. Now, the last two to three softwares, now at the time you can outright buy Studio Architect, are all sort of paid subscription models, which, as you know, I'm not a big fan of. But I feel both of these programs, all three, if you include Studio Architect, if you don't go with buying it, give you a lot of bang for your buck. I am very impressed by that. They're not phoning it in. ArcStudio Pro has done a great job of making AI available to use in their program. They also have a real easy interface. And by far, this is one of the easiest programs that I have used this year. They're also unveiling some new writing software other than screen writing stuff called ButterDocs, which if you go right now, you can get for a year for like a hundred bucks. Now, the interesting thing about that is they're also going to be running a promo pretty soon where you can get Arc Studio Pro and ButterDocs for a low price. I don't know what the total is yet, but it should be pretty, they said it was going to be really low and really affordable. So stay tuned for more details around that. Number one is fade in. No, it doesn't have AI. No, it doesn't have a monthly subscription. What it does have is a nice editor, one of the best test customer supports in the entire space, a low price of $79.99. You pay once. And like I said, if they upgrade it or anything like that, you don't have to pay for the upgrade. It's got a great free version, and it's just an overall solid experience. Fade In has been my go-to software for a lot of 2023. Now, I've used a lot of these over the years, but this is the one that I tend to come back to time and time again. So what do you think of my list? What ones should I look at and maybe add to my list next year? Which ones do you disagree with me about? Which ones are you going to try? Well, until the next video, write well and live well.